Good morning. Today's Tuesday. It's June 15. I'm glad that we can trust the Lord. We can put our confidence in Him. The Word of God is true, every word of it. Joshua chapter 21 and verse 45 reminds us not one word of all the good promises that the Lord had made to the house of Israel had failed. All came to pass. And we know the Bible's filled with hundreds and hundreds of promises for God's people, for individuals. Scripture gives many promises to groups and to uh, the church, to the body of Christ, to you and to me, and I'm glad for that. God's word will not return void, Isaiah said, to uh, to the people in, in chapter 55 and verse 11. So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. The Lord makes a promise and he fulfills. We've been putting our attention each day on a different aspect, a different subject of God's promises to us, his people. We're going to read some today uh, from God's word regarding loneliness. These are verses that show God's promises regarding uh, he being with his people uh, in, in the most difficult of times. He won't leave us to be by ourselves. Let's look at some of the scriptures that speak to the fact that God will never leave us abandoned. What does the Bible say about this? Jesus uh, has a word in John 14 and verse 18. He said uh, to the people, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Isaiah 58 and verse 9 says, you shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry and he will say, here I am. Second Corinthians in the New Testament, Paul wrote in chapter 6 and verse 18, the Lord said, I'll be a father to you, and you shall be sons and daughters to me, says the Lord Almighty. Back to the very first book of the Bible, Genesis chapter 28 and verse 15. The Lord said, I am with you. I will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land, for I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised. Psalm number 73, Asaph said, I am continually with you. You hold my right hand. He's speaking to the Lord. He says to the Lord, you hold my right hand. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 5, keep your life free from the love of money. Be content with what you have. For the Lord has said, I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. So we can confidently say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Let's read a couple more. Let's go back to Psalm uh, again. But well, before that, let's go to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 31 and verse 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. One more. Psalm number 23. You know this. Verse 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The Lord is good. He's good to his people. I believe we follow him. We live life his way. Life will be better. We can trust him. We can trust his word. And God will always fulfill his promises. And I'm glad for that. I'm, I'm thankful for that. Let's take just a minute and uh, pray together. Lord, we come to you. We're thankful, Lord. Our hearts are grateful for all that you've done, for all that you do. I pray, Father, that you would uh, encourage your people, Lord, with this truth that we have read today. Lord, your word is uh, faithful. All the promises of God are yea and amen. Lord, you do what you say, and we thank you. Lord, we're, we're so grateful for your yes. Lord, you, you promised that you would do it, and you do it. Lord, you, you keep us, you watch over us, you protect us, you guard us, you provide for us. We say thank you for that. Lord, bless your people. Continue to give health and strength and uh, more than anything, Lord, I pray we would have an awareness of your presence. We would know that you are with us wherever we go. You've not left us uh, to figure things out on our own. But, Lord, you're with us in every situation. As your people, Lord, we look to you and we're, and we're glad. Thank you for your hand upon us. Lord, keep your people. I pray blessing on each one, on each home, on each family. Guard us and protect us. And uh, we thank you for all of that in the name of your Son. 
Amen. It's Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. We won't be meeting electronically tomorrow. We'll be meeting in the sanctuary. So we have Bible study and prayer time, 7 o'clock tomorrow night in the sanctuary. I hope you can make it out. We've been looking at the, the New Testament book of 1 Peter and studying that a little bit for a while. And then we pray together. And I believe God meets with us and it's encouraging to me. I hope it's encouraging to you. So uh, if you haven't joined with us, please do. And if you, if you have been, then I look forward to seeing you again. Have a great day. God bless you.